I'm Chelsea Havlin with Park City Television. Thanks for joining me at Craft Lake City, Utah's own do-it-yourself festival. here this is so exciting I know and then we're just getting started so it's only about an hour and a half in and we could not be happier right now well, define for me what is Craft Lake City this whole concept of do-it-yourself or DIY Craft Lake City is um, a way to highlight the DIY movement in Utah so we have vendors from Logan to St. George across Salt Lake Park City Midway all over the place um, that come together and showcase what they do what they make by hand themselves so nothing's outsourced nothing's um, like mass produced and so they all make it themselves they come up with the design concepts they come up with you know the ways that they want to convey their ideas and instead of finding a t-shirt at Walmart you could find it at Craft Lake and it could be its own unique thing that no one else has. This is my third year with Craft Lake love doing this festival probably my best one I do just the right crowd for this kind of thing interested people interested in in uh, different kinds of art. I've heard great things about it and I wanted to be a part of it. I'm curious, what are your thoughts on this uh, whole new movement, I guess, towards buying a more vintage, even a thrift shop-like items? There's a lot of people that are moving toward that. I agree. I, I feel like it has to do with the Green Initiative and being more responsible because there's so many amazing dresses that are out there, amazing clothing. Um, so I think people are getting behind the idea of reduce, reuse and being fashionable while doing so. It's one of my favorite events I look forward to every single year and uh, for the last four years I have been telling myself that I need to get involved so this is the first year that I applied and got in and I just like the local feel and the local community and getting to know other artists and designers. I love Craft Lake City just because there are so many incredible ideas out here. There's a lot of one-of-a-kind stuff and it's really exciting to be a part of a group that is so talented. Um, and a lot of people who think outside the box. So it's not your average, you know, hair bows and tutus for babies. There's really amazing things here. And, and to be a part of that is really a thrill and quite an honor. It's just an amazing place here. It's, you've got all kinds of artisans. You've got everything from, you know, from jewelry to crafts to um, stuffed animals to screen printing to it's just a little bit of everything. It's just an awesome group of people here. And then and Craft Lake's just been an awesome supporter of artists. All right, I'm finishing out the evening now here at Craft Lake City. I run into the Mo family. What was your guys' favorite thing so far? I bought some nice locally roasted coffee that I'm drinking now tastes nice. Pretty good. So, good. Yeah. What about you? Um, I just like being out and seeing all the crafts that people make. Lots of creativity. Wonderful. Well, your little daughters here. We have Violet and Madeline. Madeline, what was your favorite thing today? My favorite thing was the umbrellas, and Violet's was everything orange. Oh, she likes everything orange. You speak for her? Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, you guys. Have a wonderful evening, and be sure to check out Craft Lake City.